My name is uh, Upe Chitongo. I interned in uh, Switzerland uh, in 2016, uh, between February and uh, April. And from then, um, I've been uh, working, uh, mostly teaching. Uh, so far, I've uh, taught at two, two institutions, uh, the University of Zambia and Cavendish University. And recently, I just got awarded a scholarship, uh, the Cheveni Scholarship to study in the UK and uh, I'll be sponsored by the UK government. Um, whilst in the UK, I'll be in um, Guilford, Surrey, uh, and I'll be reading uh, a master's uh, in uh, economics. I teach uh, environmental economics, which is very much linked to what I was doing at uh, Credit Suisse, because at Credit Suisse, I interned in the real estate investment management, where we look at sustainable buildings, so I bring that home and uh, share with my students on the importance of such buildings and how it can uh, preserve our environment for a better economy. And also just the way we, I interacted with my host family in Switzerland taught me a lot about sustainability itself. Um, you'd see that uh, people are very keen about uh, recycling and that's one thing that we as Zambians, we can uh, also learn from and I do give examples, real world examples from, from my students from Switzerland and that they like it. My name is Mlenga Samu Mkoka. I'm the very first Zambian intern. That went to Credit Suisse in Switzerland back in 2014. After I came back, I joined the Zambia Revenue Authority in 2014, where I've been working from that time to date. Mm -hmm. and, uh, batch, or we just begin the next batch. Like I would say Nkuka is very dependable, and when I'm not in the office, he takes care of issues on my behalf very well, being my assistant in my position. And um, I, I have only positive things to say about his work ethic. He's very committed. His work is without any mistakes. Um, and you can rest assured as a boss, as a supervisor, that everything is going right. I saw the recent response. Um, you then, you then called. Oh, then you called it as a follow-up. Yeah. I was advising Kanga not to respond to person. In that time, I have had uh, the pleasure of having an extra child. <laughs> yeah, and we have managed to build this house where we are staying now. Part of this, of course, goes to some of the inputs that we got from the opportunities we got in Switzerland. I think I've, I was able to change jobs very quickly uh, from uh, ZRA due to the skills and uh, my ability to uh, integrate into that working environment and add value to that uh, particular process. So apart from work, during the weekends, we try to do a little bit of agriculture. <laughs> my wife Tamara loves gardening and so she's uh, doing a garden outside. We are growing some uh, spinach, some cabbages and eggplants. Those are some of the things that are currently there. And then for myself, I love uh, the idea of poultry and livestock. So we are keeping a bit of chickens. At the moment we have about 42 big cocks and hens and then we also have about a hundred or so chicks. So we're trying to expand and see if we can uh, add value by contributing to food production in our community. Um, and also to try to encourage people to eat more nutritious foods uh, because the chickens we are growing are the organically grown free range uh, type of chicken. Huh? <laughs> okay, so you need to introduce yourselves. You can start, say your name. 
How old you are? Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm Sam. I'm eight years old. old. I'm in grade three. My school, my school is at Kings Highway my school, school. My school is in church. So the mother is currently enrolled in a master's program. Uh, so it's an it's an evening program. So we tried to balance her work. Uh, she's trying to balance work and school. So normally when she knocks off, she goes to school and her classes run between 17:30 and 20:30. Yeah, so she'll be home around 21 hours.